Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. I'm going to show you where we've moved to from Burkhead. And it's not that far away from Burkhead. But it's a busy old road so I'll have to keep pausing. We've got a bit of quiet. It's a woodland and uh, Lindsay's first stop here but not mine. We're just outside what is now called Kinloss Barracks. And what of course used to be called RAF Kinloss. And uh, yeah, we parked a Land Rover here once and went into the camp through the wire. And you too, through the wire just over the road. We were playing the bad guys in an exercise and uh, that was great fun. We came out, marked the spot where we broke the wire and it was fixed, no doubt, straight after. But uh, it's an interesting spot. Just on this Sunday afternoon, a very busy road and a very busy blackbird who is upset that I'm here videoing. So let's have a, a look around. I've been unable to find any information about Blackstob Wood. Part of it is military, part of it is civilian. But I don't know why there is no other information, particularly on the Forestry Commission site, with a lovely green sign at the, uh, at the entrance to the wood. So, maybe it's by the time we come back again, I'll have found something to tell you. In the meantime, enjoy the woods and our trek for a miscreant geocache. Blackstop Woods. Small woodland, the main part of which is on the what is now called Kinloss Barracks. And this side, not quite as big as the portion we can't get to, but there's a myriad of paths 
and seven geocaches, which Lindsay managed to get today. The road is just there. Um, it's not really possible to get further away from it, and the uh, that means that it's uh, kind of difficult to shoot a video. But I've got some shot. You'll see around. You'll see us in a walk in the woods. We've seen a good amount of birds for the short time we've been here. Cold tits, black caps, yellow hammers, chiff chaffs, pigeons that you should be able to hear in the background now. Carrion crows. and other warblers that are yet to be identified. But there's plenty of time for that. There's supposedly a woodpecker lives around here, we've not seen or heard of it yet. And tree creepers, which we've not seen. But it's been a busy afternoon, so that's hardly surprising. Maybe as things quieten down, we'll get to see them. We're off for a short walk to find a geocache. Got or maybe not find a geocache. And he's just popping back. We forgot the geocache hunting kit. So I'll switch you off for a moment. And we're off. This is one of a, a series of caches in the woods and uh, Lindsay's got the other six and you've just got to search for this last one which uh, is being evasive and of course it would be the one that's right by the road Nice path, so. Uh -huh. There's some very old trees. I also have to watch where you put your feet because some of the trees were growing up in the middle of the path. So I've left the tree stumps in. It's just the perfect height for you to fall over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank 
funny when we see what was it, two years we lived here? We never knew this place existed. So they didn't come here. Just saying that we didn't go to the Abbey anyway. Just about. I'm just going to switch you off. I've, uh, we've arrived at the spot and we found the uh, the tree. And not only have we found the tree, but I found the geocache. And Lindsay's looking at me strange because she can't see it. So I'll just switch you off. We'll do the cache and uh, come back to you. We found the cache, it was up the wrong tree, halfway up the wrong tree, and you needed me and a long branch to recover it. We're going to replace it back in the spot it belongs before heading back. But you were right about me spotting it as soon as I got here. Yeah. <laughs>
thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.